Hey guys, it's Monica. You know, I've been sort of putzing around the house today and thinking about things and I kind of looked at some of the products I have and I said, you know what? Why don't I steal one of my Facebook favorite things to do, which is a throwback Thursday and do it in some of the products I have. So I don't know if this is going to be a series, but I'm going to add a couple of products that so many of you have asked, are you still using? Are you still using? So I'm only going to pick two because I don't want this to be super long. And then I'm also going to throw back to one of my favorite memories in my life. So if you're interested, stay tuned. <laughs> this is going to be every Thursday but I'm going to do as many throwback Thursdays as I can because I think it's kind of fun to look at your your makeup items and pick one or two that you get questions on and talk about them how do you feel about them now are you still using them and I get questions the most on two particular products and most of those questions are on some of my older videos. So I'm going to talk about how I feel today about the Nivea, or Nivea, however you pronounce it. I know you'll all correct me. That's okay. I don't mind. Nivea Skin Firming and Soothing Concentrate Serum. I don't think you can get this anywhere anymore unless you buy it in eBay. And I know on eBay they sell it. I don't know. I haven't bought it on eBay, so I don't know. And the other product I'm going to talk about is my Lana Cream Bee Venom Face Mask. This is the face mask that you can get, the Bee Venom Cream that I use, that you can get in TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I, last time I saw this, I bought two jars of it. And the last time I really looked for it, was probably maybe you know maybe a couple of months ago but a few weeks ago I saw a couple of jars on the shelf in Marshalls I did not buy it because I knew that I had enough so Bee Venom and Nivea I'm gonna start with the Bee Venom do I still use the Bee Venom I do do I use it the same way I don't to this day every time I use the Bee Venom cream it still stings me and I jump around and I go, ooh, ooh, my face is on fire. I find that when I use this, I wake up the next morning and my skin is super, super moisturized. I have been using this for a long time. I think I started using this in 2016 maybe. I've been using this for a long time and I have been using it for a long time in conjunction, especially with Retin-A use. So the Retin-A, I have dry skin, the Retin-A dries your skin, makes it even worse. I found the Bee Venom, and I know that a lot of people use Benigma, which is the same type of a product that works the same way. I haven't used Benigma, I can't compare it, but I know ingredients-wise it's fairly similar, but the price point is extremely different. So when I bought this last jar of it, it was $4.99 in Marshalls. I've seen it anywhere between $4.99 and $6.99. You can also buy this on eBay and pay a heck of a lot more. I'm not going to because of the fact that since I started to use the CBD face oil and I use the Maku, since I started to use that, I have not really used as much bee venom cream because the Maku, the, the CBD face oil gives me better results than the Bee Venom Cream does. So that said, I'm going to use up my existing Bee Venom Cream, without a doubt. When I'm done, depending on what happens, because you know, your skincare, you change up and all that, depending on what happens for a moisturizer, if I'm still using the CBD oil, which I imagine I will be, I'm not gonna really need this. But I am finishing it up. I like it. 
Some people use it, I mean, you can use the B Venom Cream in the morning, you can use it anytime you want. The CBD Cream, I use basically at night after my Retin-A or before my Retin-A. That's how I use my CBD face oil. 99% of the time, my CBD face oil is used before I apply Retin-A. 99% of the time, when I was using the B Venom Cream, I applied it after I put my Retin-A on, right before bed. So am I still using it? Yes and no. Will I continue to buy it? Probably not, because I'm enjoying the benefits I'm getting from the CBD face oil much better. And the CBD face oil is expensive. It's a lot more money. If I didn't have the CBD face oil, or didn't want to buy CBD face oil, I would buy this still. I would still use this, without a doubt. So, Bee Venom Cream, $4.99, $6.99. In Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I wouldn't pay any more than that. I wouldn't be going on eBay and paying 50 bucks for it. I'd say bye-bye. But that's a scoop on that. Now, Nivea, I'm really torn about this. Everyone says, does it help your bags? I never used it for my bags. Does it help down here? You know, I was never good on my neck with it or my jowls with it. The only, and the reason why I have so much of it left is the only place that I would use this is I would actually squeeze out a tiny tiny bit of it just a tiny bit and I would put it on a q-tip and I would put it on the very inner corners of my eyes where you can see the bags and on the inner corner of my upper eyelids I should say because I would say and I'm embarrassed to show you my fingernails they're horrible um, I would say the inner corner of my eyelids even though this is not touted to be applied there, this is the only place I ever really put it. And I have what we call fat pockets. So I was putting this on a dab on my fat pocket at night and in the morning. And I always felt it tightened up that loose skin, the fat pocket. Because this is pretty pricey and you can't find it anymore readily, I started to taper off of my use. And one of the things that I noticed when I stopped using it was that my fat pocket got worse, came back. So I've been experimenting with different creams to see if anything would really help with those fat pockets. Don't say surgery because I'm not going there. Um, to see if they would help. I've tried using the jade roller, the small piece, to push out the fluid. I've tried a couple of different things, and sometimes I can make it look really good. Um, sometimes, I, depending on what I use to apply, nothing works as good as this on my eyes for those fat pockets. So, yeah, I like this. I am thankful I still have plenty in this in this tube. I will continue to experiment to see if anything else would work as good. For me, this is temporary fix. Over, course, over the course of time, every time I applied it, it seemed to really do it a good job. I really, I really, really liked it. I am using a number of different eye creams right now. I'm using one that I am very, very pleased with. And I'm not going to say that it works on my eye fat pocket because I haven't really seen that. But I do like how it is working around my eyes. And that is the one that I got from City Beauty, which I've talked about in a previous video. So I really kind of like that. However, nothing yet on my fat pockets has worked as well as this baby. I got plenty. I'm not worried. I'm in experiment. If I find something I like just as much or just as good, I'll let you guys know. Of course, anything I talk about is just my opinion. It's just the way it's worked on my skin. So that's my Throwback Thursday to these two products that I get the most questions on. Am I still using the Nivea? Am I still using the Bee Venom? The next thing that I want to share with you, because I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a throwback to an event in my life that was uh, super special, and I've had many. But this is the one that I'm going to share right now. So Jay and I are going on our or maybe we're already married 30 years, I don't know. But we're, we're going on an anniversary. I don't know, Jay? Yeah. How, when is our anniversary? September 15th. What year? 1990, 30 years. 30 years this year? Yeah. So we like, keep forgetting, and it'll only be 29. <laughs> so 
So yeah. I found my phone. Oh good. Where was it? In the bedroom. <laughs> he went to the office to get his phone and it was here in the bedroom. Good. So anyways, um, I'm going to throw back to an event. I'm not going to throw back to my wedding day, but I'm going to throw back to my anniversary. Not my anniversary, my honeymoon. So Jay and I got married and um, we couldn't go on a honeymoon right away because it was still, if I remember correctly, it was still hurricane season. So we had a delayed honeymoon for later that year when we went with another couple. We rented a, a sailboat and um, we, it, was, it was a big, big sailboat. We didn't have a captain, we didn't have a crew, it was just the four of us. So all, Jay had sailing experience, the couple that we were with have a small sailboat, so they have very, very experienced sailors. I love sailing. To this day, one of the video topics that I watch all the time are sailors. I, I follow a lot of sailors. There's a lot of really cool families that sail full time. Um, sailing adventures. I watch those because I really like them. But anyways, our honeymoon, we rented a, I think it was a 44 foot friendship sloop out of St. Thomas for 10 days. So the way it worked is we had to fly to St. Thomas. We had to sort of pick a menu item. And when we got to St. Thomas, the boat was fully stocked based on what we bought in advance from the boat rental company. And we had to chart our course. We had to let them know where we were going to be and all of that stuff. So we flew to St. Thomas. We had, a, it was a beautiful sailboat. It was just absolutely a beautiful sailboat. And we sailed out of St. Thomas. We went all through the U.S. Virgin Islands into the British Virgin Islands and then back 10 days on the sea. There was some, some moments when, when it was absolutely beautiful, calm, the most amazing scenery, the most amazing weather, the most amazing fish, the ocean colors, everything beautiful. And then there were some times when it was a little bit scary when we got too close to an island where someone felt really like we shouldn't be anchoring there and um, started, you know, chasing around the island with, you know, a broom or whatever she had in her hand, scaring us off. And then one time we had to out, outrun a storm and um, just, you know, sharks. <laughs> I don't think they were the bad ones though. But you know, there's a couple of times that we swam and we went to an island and then you could see underneath the boat as we're snorkeling back all these sharks circling the bottom of it. We're like, oh, mackerel. But anyways, the the pictures that you're seeing as I'm talking are pictures that were taken many years ago. So they're not all that clear. They're not the best quality, but it is an amazing memory for me. So my throwback for my personal memory is my honeymoon with my honey JJ on the high seas in the Caribbean and I still to this day and I think Jay agrees to this day still think this was the most amazing trip we'd ever been on so I don't know maybe this year we'll make it we'll change it because we're planning hopefully who knows um, if everything goes right we're planning an extremely amazing trip that might move that to second place. But that's my memory, that's my throwback. So throwback to my products and throwback to a wonderful time in my life. I hope you enjoy my memories. And if you have any products or anything you would like to know, you'd like me to share in my next Throwback Thursday, leave it in the comments below. I'm gonna to try to do this on Thursdays, publish it on Thursdays, and do as many as I can. So thank you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.